Yeah. Sorry about that video cut off. Two shingles walking our way around. Stand by while we get up on the roof. You can put that in your pocket till we get up on the roof, Corey. Just for purposes. Go ahead and put that for me and I'll hold it for you when you're coming up. You don't have to step on the pitch hopper. You should be able to walk on So this was a temp attempted repair number one you can see the creasing in that shingle it's actually gotten worse since I've been here just because of wear and tear I'm gonna go ahead and do a shingle over on this side um, I would do this shingle but if I were to do this shingle I would have to take off the ridge caps and I'm not doing all that so um, Let's start with this shingle right here. Go ahead and unseal it. Make sure that there's no matting transfer because that would be damaged. Okay, uh, so this is where this shingle begins. Okay, now I gotta remove these. This repair never even sealed back down, so that right there should be enough. We will continue. Okay, so the shingle has been removed, and you can actually already, if you want to come in a little bit closer for you, you can actually already see some of the creasing starting to happen right here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate wear and tear, because, for example, this shingle right here, I, I did not, you know, unseal, I didn't have to lift it up, I'm wiping it, nothing's coming off, right? This shingle, on the other hand, I had to lift up. And if I simulate wear and tear, there's your crease. I only had to do half of it on this one. 
all these granules coming off showing that it does create damage now i still need to get the shingle up underneath there i still need to get the shingle up underneath there and nail the shingle down which is where a lot of the damage will come from so beside the fact that it's a complete mismatch in color and that if I'm going to have to repair 80 of these shingles, you're going to see that all over the place. But let's go ahead and nail this shingle in and see what happens with this shingle. And then we're going to do one on the front side as well. Simulating that wear and tear because remember I can come down here to this shingle and simulate that same wear and tear and it does not look like that and that is the damage that is happening while we're attempting to do this repair so that's just the back side let's go ahead and do the front side oh wait I need to throw some nails back into these shingles right here so I had to take Things locked back into place. Damaged shingle from the repair. The last thing that we'll show you is uh, where some of these hail hits are on the roof. I can guarantee you there's more than 80 shingles there. And this roof is totaled. So here's the repair from the front side. As you can see, it's gotten a little bit worse since I was here last. But Nonetheless, damage. Let's go ahead and remove one of these shingles. <clears throat> we'll just go with this one right here. Now this one, this front side, these shingles are a lot more sealed down and it looks like there's gonna be some matting transfer while I'm unsealing these, which is damage as well. <clears throat> Look at that right there. I just tore that shingle. So let's go ahead and replace that shingle that I just tore, showing that it is brittle. If you can get a close up of that tear right there, tore that shingle while unsealing them. And I'm being extremely careful. As careful as you can be on a steep roof. There's another tear. I'm trying to unseal it. I got that live. Huh? 
it was live okay. for a tour. So, and now I'm getting a bunch of gunk in there. I just tore that shingle too. I'm removing this shingle right here. There's another tear. another tear right there showing that I can't make proper repairs over on this side whatsoever <laughs> literally falling apart all right I believe I got all those nails I may actually have one more over here nope I'm good okay now I gotta unseal this Layer. Damage that shingle trying to get the nail out from the brittleness. Looks like it is. <clears throat> the shingle should be just about ready to come out. Where's the nail at?
simulate. This side's a little bit harder to see it on because of the way that the sun is shining right now. You can kind of see this one right here a little bit better than most. The shadow kind of covers it up. But nonetheless, granule loss. Um, if I come up here to this shingle right here, nothing happens. Come down here to this shingle. Look at all those granules coming off. Which shows the damage that takes place during a repair. Now let's go ahead and show some of these hail hits. You can kind of see them on this side pretty well right now with the way that the sun is shining, so that's good. But you can literally, if you shine it across the roof, you can probably see a lot of them. Maybe not. But either way, this is a good one right here, Corey. Hail hit. Hail hit. Hail hit. Hail hit. All over the roof. And this is just, you know, one probably five foot section of the roof. If we were to go around the rest of the roof, it looks just like this. Let's go ahead and do that. Hail hit. Hail hit. Right there, that is textbook hail. Not blisters, hail. I wish this roof had blisters on it so I could show you the difference of what blisters and hail damage are, but even the ridge caps, come over here to the ridge caps, you can see the hail damage. There, uh, where'd that one, there, there. Damage everywhere. Let's come to this back side. Hail damage, hail damage, and that is spread throughout the entirety of the room. So you say 80 shingles, I say more like 500 shingles, which would total out the roof. Then go ahead and get a far away shot of that up here. I don't know if we got that or not. Can you see it in the camera? Yep. No matching. Yeah, doesn't match, unrepairable, and hail damage everywhere. So, I think that should do. Um, we're going to get this video sent to Mr. Behrman tonight, and he should be sending it to you guys at State Farm, hopefully within the next day or two. Thanks, guys.